First up, Fox News star Bill O'Reilly has been gloating in the catbird seat with blockbuster ratings and an annual salary of about $18 million. His show has earned the network almost $450 million in two years alone. But after a New York Times takedown, O'Reilly's throne appears to be wobbly. He is a masterful communicator and knows how to drive an agenda. Caution, you are about to enter the no spin zone. As of this week, make that the no ad zone. Big advertisers are bailing from the O'Reilly factor by the dozens, following on New York Times expose, proving that O'Reilly has settled sexual harassment claims with five women, totaling about $13 million. This brutal ordeal is now officially over, and I will never speak of it again. That was Bill O'Reilly back in 2004, after he settled a claim with Andrea Macris, one of his Fox producers. But the Times has learned there were other secret settlements. This morning, newly uncovered allegations against Fox News. Other complaints surfaced, too. Wendy Walsh, who did not file suit, claims O'Reilly booted her off his show after she refused to go to his hotel suite. And I simply said, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And he immediately got defensive and said, what do you mean, you think I'm going to attack you or something? President Trump, a pal of O'Reilly's, weighed in, saying in part, I think he's a, a person I know well, he's yeah. a good person. You know, I think he shouldn't have settled. I don't think Bill would do anything wrong. That prompted Rebecca Gomez-Diamond to speak out for the first time about her 2007 settlement with O'Reilly, saying by Twitter she was disappointed in the president, that she has merit and that women were forced by Fox to settle out of court. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Please remember that the spin stops here. O'Reilly has yet to address the issue on air, even though he's got more airtime to fill. So, really, this is just one more in a series of stories like this. I had to go back and look because it felt like it was a long time ago, but actually January 10th, the New York Times printed a story about uh, Juliet Huddy, who, who was also an anchor at Fox News, who settled a sexual harassment suit with him. So part of my, and I, I know I'm going to get email on this, but part of my, I, I have this angst about this, that something doesn't feel right about this current piling on, that the, the network has known about this. We don't know all the details about what these cases involved. Like, you know, we know a few, and we know more about what um, uh, Wendy Walsh said, because she did not file suit, and she has come forth to explain herself. Uh, Anita uh, Diamond Gomez did not come forward and explain. She was also one, somebody who settled, but she at least it, admitted it. I just have this feeling like, you know, the advertisers pulling, and it's, like this, it's another one of these groundswell movements to push somebody out when really, I mean, is it all about the money? Don't you think that the network has already considered this? They must have. He's on his... How many more contracts can Bill O'Reilly sign anyway? So, I don't know. I, I just have a, I, I completely believe the women. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, that, that I don't condone his behavior. I just don't really like the way this is coming down. Well, I would say a couple of things here. As a former lawyer who used to work in the realm of sexual harassment, not every case that settles is, a, is an admission of guilt. A lot of these cases settle for the nuisance value. In fact, you know, most lawsuits are settled for the nuisance value. However, there are so many in this case, yeah. there are so many accusations that I tend to say where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, that said, I read a really interesting column the other day by Mona Charon, syndicated columnist with creators, who said, she talked about this and she said, maybe Bill O'Reilly could have avoided all of this if he had just followed the Mike and Karen Pence rule, never dine with a woman who's not your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, on one hand, um, sure, Fox News certainly knew all, the, all these things. I mean, they're the ones who are writing a lot of these checks, although O'Reilly seems to have, have been paying some he of paid them. Some. But, but that said, um, what an indictment of what a terrible workplace and employer Fox News is. That oh, they I can attest have, to it. I work that they, they could have someone <laughs> in this position for this long a time yeah. and just have it, you know, I, I think when, when the Roger Ailes mess was happening last year, there was a real sense that there was a, someone was opening the lid on mm -hmm. this poisonous place. And there were debates about was, was Rupert Murdoch going to change the culture. Um, it didn't really seem like a lot of that happened uh, in any significant way. The leadership that was there in the Ailes still period is, is still there. But, but that said, I do wonder, um, Megyn Kelly was the only rival to Bill O'Reilly at, at Fox News as, as a, a very big primetime star. And Fox News dealt with her departure, which was you know, discussed and debated for a very long time, remarkably well. 
well. Uh, Tucker Carlson has ratings that are just as high or higher than, than she has. And I do think we are in a completely different environment for issues of sexual harassment and sexual assault today than we were 10 years ago. I mean, mm. people were talking about Bill Cosby a long time ago, and a lot of that was out there. But when it came up yeah, again in that, in that yeah. sort of massed uh, pile, I think people treated it differently. I would not be shocked, even though I think the default position is she, he would st stay on because he stayed on through a lot of other things. I wouldn't be shocked if this would finally be the thing that toppled him. Yeah, you know, I've been wondering myself whether this is going to be the, the incident that ends his uh, career at Fox. I, my gut tells me that, we, that there has to be one more thing to happen before he actually gets pushed out because <laughs> this guy is just so big and his ratings have been so huge. Uh, his ratings just are, are monumentally larger mm. than the shows that follow his. And if he were to go off the air, their ratings would plummet as well. I mean, he's really the straw that stirs the drink on that, on that network. Um, the, the allegations are just sickening. And they're not new. We've seen them before. No, they're not. But they're just, they're just awful. Well, you know, I mean, th this is kind of a spin on Josh's theory. My theory is that Sometimes it's just the wrong time. I mean, th there's something in the air, and you got away with it before, but another time everything comes together for reasons that can't really be explained logically. But uh, yeah, I'm just saying a lot of these things have been out there, and it took the New York Times to add you know, three or four people to the pile, right. and then, oh, suddenly that's worth pulling your ads. It, 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 it was it, worth pulling your ads? In 2004. But, but it's like somebody <laughs> pulled out the right rock yeah, and the avalanche came mm -hmm. down. Also, there were uh, threads left after, as Megyn Kelly was leaving. He really ta attacked her mm -hmm. um, openly, True. like, oh, who, who is she to talk if she should go, if she doesn't like where she is, that kind of thing. And so that left, I think, a lot of people saying, really, really? Let's go take another look at you and see what's going on. And I think to a lot of the women still working there, of course, they knew. And Bill O'Reilly, uh, by the way, nobody's calling that hotline understanding what had happened in the past. No, you know, what happened to Roger Ailes? They saw that. Why would they call a hotline no. and expect anybody to respond? With regard to the... Um, to the, um, the sponsors, at first I thought, well, wow, something is happening. But they're putting no. their ads elsewhere. Yeah, but that, so, well, could, I, that could I, change. You know, so I'm, but I'm saying, is this not a move no, out of but, some kind of altruism? Well, no, whatever, but if it's off know. of the O'Reilly show, it's, it's out of the limelight. Yeah, and they're I mean, not going to want to do there's that. There's no much. evidence that, that Brett Baer or Britt Hume or any of these other people are anything but respectable journalists. So if they would take their ads from O'Reilly and move them to a respectable show with stand-up people. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but she, her question was, yeah. why are they pulling everything now yeah. and making a mistake? Yeah. My point is, they're not really pulling well, anything. Part, pulling of, that's my point. part yeah. of that is because the <laughs> ideals know, have know. already been Yeah, they've already been caught. Yes, but exactly. I do think it is yeah. actually really key because the O'Reilly show was, was just about the only show that had premium brand advertising. Mm. If you watch Fox News during the day, you're going to see a lot of reverse mortgage and yeah. gold bug yeah. and stuff yeah. that is a half step above AM radio. Last night, there were there were seven ads on the entire program. Wow. None of them for me. What did he do? Did he of. do PSAs? What did he do in between? Well, part he, of, he part of the last night was that there was the Syria, there was a breaking news part for, oh, yeah, for yeah, part yeah. of the hour. That's right. But still, there were no premium ads. But I, I think it's no. important to note also that Bill O'Reilly has a reputation as a bully, and he's, yes. he's treated men and women that way. And so what you see happening now is the men that he's treated poorly are not standing up for him. So well, you right know, now he has they a are. history of bad Response? behavior. Well. His bosses are still standing up for him. Well, that's well, the thing. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, they, we'll they see haven't what vocalized yeah. that. They right. haven't come out and said, we support Bill O'Reilly. They've they just haven't. been quiet. They right. said he understands the new environment yeah. and he's working one, with us. Once somebody like <laughs> Bill O'Reilly starts to go into a tailspin, everybody just backs yeah. off. Well, let me say, having said all this, I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't either.